This is Weekend Edition. I'm Leanne Hansen. A woman who served as personal assistant to Clarence Thomas for over two years has accused him of sexually harassing her. NPR's Nina Totenberg reports. Law professor Anita Hill said she had much in common with Clarence Thomas and that she initially believed that common background was one of the reasons he hired her as his personal assistant 10 years ago. According to Hill's affidavit, Thomas soon began asking her out socially and refused to accept her explanation that she did not think it appropriate to go out with her boss. Thomas, after a brief work discussion, would, quote, turn conversation to discussions about his sexual interests. He never touched her, she acknowledged in an interview, and he never directly threatened her job. But she said she was 25 and she began to worry that she would soon suffer professionally if she did not submit. Several senators contacted by NPR say they are troubled by the Hill allegations and the long delay in investigating them by Chairman Biden. Carolyn, look, she's out there making it sound like we haven't done a goddamn thing on this. I want a full chronology. Who called who and when, all right? I'm not going to be the bad guy on this thing. Tom, I need those phone logs. What happened? I promised her this wouldn't get out. I gave my word. That was pretty fucking stupid, wasn't it? Nothing like this stays secret in this town. You should know that. Trouble today for President Bush's already controversial Supreme Court nominee, Clarence Thomas. Leading Democrats label the charges, quote, very disturbing. Senator says this is the kind of thing one expects in the last moments of a political campaign, not a judicial confirmation. The whole thing, says Danforth, has a very definite and strong aroma to it. 